The exact location of the pain is one of the most important factors when you want to know what is going on in your knee. And the reason is that, almost always, the anatomic structure that is located at the area of the pain is responsible for the problem. So when you know where exactly the pain is most pronounced, you can relatively easily deduct which exact anatomic structure is responsible and come to the most likely diagnosis and an appropriate action plan. So in the next minutes, I will describe the 10 most common pain locations in the knee, what they precisely mean in terms of what is the problem and which treatment options there could be. 1. Patellofemoral pain syndrome, also called anterior knee pain syndrome, because the pain is located in front of the knee, at or around the kneecap. It is almost always caused by a cartilage problem under the kneecap, which, depending on your age, could be either because your cartilage is too soft, we call that chondromalacia patelli, or because of wear and tear of the cartilage, induced by intensive sports or heavy labor, which, at an older age, is called patellofemoral osteoarthritis. The treatment is exercise therapy to strengthen the patellofemoral mechanism, if needed, in combination with weight reduction. The reason is that body weight has an important impact on the load of the patellofemoral cartilage, as high as factor 7 during certain activities. Sometimes injection therapy with hyaluronic gel or PRP may be needed as well. Surgery is only seldomly needed. 2. Meniscus You have a medial and a lateral meniscus. Either one can be a source of pain, usually because of a tear or a crush or wear and tear. If that is the case, please have a look at a separate video that I have made for further confirmation. Also here, the treatment consists of exercise therapy in order to strengthen the knee, together with temporary avoidance of deep flexion activities, so that the meniscus can heal. If there is an unstable tear, you may need an MRI and possibly surgery to fix it. 3. Patellar tendinitis the diagnosis of patellar tendinitis is easy, because the pain spot is very typical. Please have a look at this video, if you want to become 100% certain. The treatment of patellar tendinitis is to reduce or stop all harmful tendon loading, combined with specific exercise therapy for strengthening the tendon. 4. Osgutschlatter In Osgutschlatter, the pain is located at the insertion of the patellar tendon onto the shin bone. Often, this occurs in adolescence and is caused by relative overload, but it also can be a problem later in life. The treatment is load reduction and physiotherapy for most of the cases. 5. Iliotibial band friction syndrome ITB friction syndrome causes pain on the lateral or outer side of the knee and can irradiate sometimes up and down over the outside of the leg. In case you have an ITB friction problem, Please have a look at this video, where I explain what you can do about it. 6. Quadriceps tendinitis In quadriceps tendinitis, the pain is located at the upper side of the kneecap, where the quadriceps attaches. Also here, the diagnosis is therefore usually easy. The treatment is to reduce or stop all harmful tendon loading, combined with anti-inflammatory measures and specific exercise therapy for strengthening the quadriceps tendon. 7. Plica syndrome In Plica syndrome, there is inflammation of the soft tissues located at the medial or inner side of the kneecap. This is a particularly sensitive area of the knee, so this condition is quite common. The treatment consists of anti-inflammatory measures, correction of patellar endotorsion and specific strengthening exercises. For the correction of patellar endotorsion, you may want to have a look at this video that I have made. 8. Pes anserinus tendinitis In pes anserinus tendinitis, the pain is located somewhat lower than in Plica syndrome. Both conditions can, however, occur at the same time, because they are frequently caused by the same mechanism, that is, inward position of the kneecaps, also called patellar endotorsion. The treatment is therefore almost identical as for Plica syndrome. Anti-inflammatory measures, correction of patellar endotorsion, and exercise therapy with the physiotherapist. 9. Hoffa syndrome 
also called fat pad syndrome. In Hoffa syndrome, the pain is either lateral or medial to the patellar tendon at the location of the Hoffa fat pad, which is a package of fatty tissue underneath the patellar tendon. Hoffa syndrome can be caused by a variety of factors, such as trauma, bruising, cyst or scar formation, or impingement. The treatment is for each somewhat different and may consist of anti inflammatory measures, local injections, physiotherapy, correction of patellar endotorsion, and sometimes even surgery. If you want to learn more about this, please have a look at this video. 10. Tibiofibular joint pain is located low on the outer or lateral side of the knee. It can be caused by several conditions such as tibiofibular arthritis, tibiofibular instability, or tibiofibular cyst formation. An MRI is usually needed for the correct diagnosis. The treatment may consist of local anti-inflammatory measures, local injection therapy, tibiofibular bracing, or sometimes also surgery. So with this, we have covered the 10 most frequent pain spots in the knee, what they mean, and which treatment options there could be. One important note, however, you really should see a doctor in case of knee pain. What I have explained is just a rough guidance for you as a patient, so you have already some background insights. And certainly, in case of symptoms like local swelling, hardness, redness, limping, fever, sickness, abnormal tiredness, or other general health symptoms, or when the pain or discomfort persists longer than four weeks, you definitely should see a doctor. As a matter of fact, in the short term. Thank you for watching.